there he is. That's a nice fish. That is a fat fish. Big fat son of a gun. If you're here, I would appreciate if you would just, uh, you know, subscribe down in that uh, bottom corner and maybe just check out some of the other stuff that I've put out for you. And hopefully maybe you can learn something or uh, find a new stream. Who knows? But for today, we're going to be fishing a stream that I've been on once before. I've gotten into some wild brown trout in here. There's uh, good numbers of it. It's a, you know, wild trout stream, but uh, it is stocked. So there are some rainbows and I want to say they even put some rookies in too. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm chasing today some of the wild browns with some big um, streamers articulated and we're gonna see how we do. <clears throat> um, I know they just stocked it, but uh, I actually don't like that. I would have preferred that, you know, I didn't have the competition of other anglers and I didn't have all these other types of fish. But anyway, um, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for subscribing and let's have some fun on the stream today. So before we hit the stream, I just wanted to show you a couple new additions to the um, streamer box and talk about a company that I've been able to kind of just have some conversations with um, and kind of promote some of their stuff. I mean, as a fly angler that's not affiliated with any companies, not endorsed, not on any pro staffs, um, I just wanted to pass along some good information to you um, to see if it could help you. So as I started to throw a few more streamers, um, one of the people that I've decided to kind of like uh, buy a lot of my streamers from is McDowell's Fly Shop. Um, so if you get a chance, check them out. I'll drop them down in the link today, especially if we have some success on this stream with these streamers. I really hope that you'll take advantage of getting some of their flies. They're all hand tied by uh, Justin, the guy that runs the company. So when your order comes in, he actually just uh, custom makes it. Whereas a lot of times when you order flies, they're already pre-made in a box. People just throw them in the order, ship them out. I want to show you some of the real productive flies that I've been using from this company. So what you see down here in the bottom uh, right corner, this section right here is the assortment of flies that I just picked up. I am a huge proponent of throwing um, some of the headbanger sculpins and I got them in three different colors. I got them here in the olive, which is great. And this olive has a nice little olive bead right there in the middle. It's an articulated streamer, so it's got a hook in the back. It's got a hook up front. And then, you know, the real money makers that helmet to help it dive deep i got it in tan as well i got two of those and it's got a bunch of different colors that look really natural that i think will work well in some of these small streams and then i got them in black i have had success on olive and black and i'm excited to try this tan out because that's going to be new one of the other patterns that's been super successful for me and i've used it in some of my other videos that i think you guys should check out and i'll put one right there for you where i had some success are some of these mini uh bunny sculpins okay so all they are is just a little bit of uh, what I believe is marabou and like a zonker strip and with that said they've got the helmet still right there on the top and uh, the the color that has just been absolutely phenomenal here is this little brown uh, color I have just had a blast chucking those and bouncing those off the bottom and just seeing the amount of wild trout that I get anywhere from you know, uh, I've had, you know, under 10 inch fish to up to 15, 16, even 17 inch fish hit that fly. So thank you to Justin for tying these up. I'm excited to throw them today and hopefully we can bring some to net while using some of those quality flies. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. That's a nice fish. Oh, that is a nice fish. Right. He hammered that thing. Oh, stay down. This is a gorgeous fish, too. Stay down, bud. Stay down, stay down. Oh yeah, that is a fat fish. Got that on film for you. Justin, your stuff is just lights out, my friend. This brown is just incredible. Look at this. This guy is a friggin' tank. I mean, and he inhaled this thing. I'm gonna need friggin' pliers to get him out. You can kind of see right there where this guy's been in a fight before with some sort of bird or something uh, maybe a kingfish or an osprey an eagle you never know but um, this guy's a fighter he was tucked up in uh, this tree and I think it's time to let him go Walking back to the car and just saw this uh, really nice deep feeder stream and figured why not I think I can throw something in and see if we can't coax something and there he is oh my god look at that oh that might be even better than the last one stay down stay down Woo. Oh. Woo. this is gonna be a deal breaker right here Might be a rainbow. No, no, it's a brown. Big old red brown. He's a brute. He is a brute, and he he came up and hit twice. Now we're gonna. He sees me, and he does not like that. I cannot blame him. Oh. No, we do not. Oh, we do not go in between legs in here. I've been fooled like that before. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. There you go, you big fat son of a gun. So this guy, he came out of that thick log jam and uh, basically I saw him rise up off the bottom to come up and swipe and then he missed. I jerked it one more time, that's when he took and I was able to get that hook set that you guys were able to see. I am desperately sorry if the bill of my hat was in the way. I, I honestly was walking back to the car, had no intention of really fishing and then I saw that hole and just said to myself I had to make a cast. So look at that, hard work paying off, McDowell's flies. You brought two just ridiculous fish to the net today. So, thank you. Oh. 
Oh, that is a nice fish. Jeez Louise. Anytime they death roll like that, that is substantial. But it's a good thing we put on one X. Now it's just a matter of keeping them on for Jeez. Well, we got the take. We we're definitely, definitely looking for that. I haven't had a death roll from a fish like that. I don't know ever. So this is this is new, but there we go. Another, just a another beautiful fish that I've been blessed to catch here in these. Uh, prime conditions so very very lucky very lucky that's going to wrap it up here for tight lining maryland thank you guys so much for tuning back in uh we were able to put three really really quality fish between 15 and 19 inches on the streamer uh thanks to mcdowell's fly shop for tying such great flies i'll leave their description down below hopefully you'll consider checking their site out if you haven't already please consider subscribing. I hope that I can teach you something about how I approach the stream, how I tight line, what type of nymphs, the overall mono rig, and then maybe even a little bit about streamers. So uh, thanks for everybody that's been commenting, liking, subscribing. It really means a lot to me to see the way things have kind of gone for the channel. And I just love interacting. So tight lines, best of luck the next time you guys hit the stream and look forward to seeing you out there.